welcome back to a video. Today I'll be showing you how to make a mushroom cloud in Blender. So first you're going to want to delete the default cube and then you're going to want to add a torus. With this torus you want to go to object, quick effects, quick smoke. Now this is very quick, this is a very beginner tutorial and this is generally how I do it because it's very simple. I'm not going to um, do this with the super high resolution if you want it to say because my computer can't handle it so you want to have it have like the insane resolution you go to here and then you crank up the resolution I'm not going to do that I might actually turn it down just actually no because then it looks horrible um just hit play on your keyframes down here slowly and stop it at the frame you like such as let's say if I go back boom you have a mushroom cloud and say just for the fun of it you want to add a city like a small city type thing you can take a plane bring it out here go from object mode to edit mode and cut a bunch of faces just like spam at least this is like you follow the exact cuts I have but this is what I'm gonna do and then I'm not I'm not, okay let me say real quickly I am not a professional um, though I kind of do know how to navigate blender Dirt. You just extend like these up a bunch. Add a little more and say you just like have random ones that say you just want a city. You make your own ruined buildings just to really take a tutorial to make a very, very not very like high texture city. Like so not good. <laughs> it's not the best city you can make if I had, let's say you had three bajillion gears to work on it, you could probably, you would definitely make a better city. And this is a very quick uh, model to show an example. Now go to object mode. And, well, that's too small. And scale it up to whatever size you'd like. And pop it down there. And boom! Mushroom cloud looming over city. Make sure it is, it's, yeah. Don't look at the bottom. The bottom is okay. You just, yeah, show it from the bottom. Um, for 3D printing, you'd have to fill in that area if you want to 3D print this model. But I don't exactly know how to do that. Next, I will show you how to make, let's say, hmm, we want to make a camera circle in this. Camera view because oh wait there's an original camera sorry I forgot about the original camera let's say you wanted to make a camera zoom in so first grab the border then you can zoom it to whatever angle you want I'm probably just gonna leave it here and then move it hit X insert location rotation and scale grab it Z to pull it up Actually, first go to frame. Uh, let's say frame about frame forty is where we had it. Um, grab this, hit Z, go up, move up with Z, or you can put it on whatever frame you like, depending on your animation. And hit X and Y to move it over to this position. R, double tap R to rotate it. Make sure it's at like pointing directly down or whatever angle you'd like. Move it directly over the top of the explosion. And first you want to move it up. And then move it directly on top of the explosion. Hit insert. I say I again for, to insert keyframe. And then location rotation. And then go to the beginning. Um, and just hit play. And this is our animation. Hey, 
can slow it down by, let's say, to get it to go there, you delete this keyframe. Hit X, delete keyframes. Go to the beginning. And go to, let's say, frame like 80 for it to get to that location. <sighs> Don't mean to do that. Um, then move it up with Z. Hold tap R to rotate it again. Grab it. Move it to the same position. As such, double tap R, rotate it like directly down again. Then we just have it there. We'll just put it there for now. I, location, rotation. And then go to the beginning, because now it will go slow. Watch. Boom. That's how to make a simple explosion animation in Blender. You can replay it backwards. And eventually you go all the way back, and then all the way up. Now you just have to go backwards again. Hit pause to stop it, and that is the animation. Bye.